Hey everyone, Bethany and Deepa here from the Cognito Forms team. If you're looking for a way to streamline your volunteer application process, we've got you covered. Our volunteer application template with Workflow provides you with an all-in-one solution to screen applicants, efficiently and cross-functionally communicate, and seamlessly facilitate your interview and decision-making process. Our pre-built workflow streamlines the entire process and allows multiple roles to interact with the form all at once. This template is currently set up with three roles, the applicant, the volunteer coordinator, and the team lead. Let's take a deeper dive into this form's workflow. When potential volunteers first access the application, it brings them to the welcome page with information about your application process. Applicants fill out the form with information about themselves, including special skills and work history, volunteer availability, and how they believe they can best serve their community and contribute to your organization. They'll also provide two references and complete your policy agreements. Once the applicant clicks Submit, the status changes to Pending Initial Review, and the volunteer coordinator receives an email notifying them. Using the shared workflow link or by accessing the entries page, the volunteer coordinator will review the applicant's submission and then navigate to the initial application review page to add their feedback. From here, they'll indicate whether they'd like to move forward and interview the applicant. If they decide not to interview the applicant, then after clicking close, the status changes to applicant denied and the applicant will be notified accordingly. If the volunteer coordinator decides to interview the applicant after clicking Request Interview, the status changes to Interview Requested and the applicant will be sent a notification email. Using the shared workflow link, the applicant will submit their interview availability. Currently, we have it set up so that they have to provide three available dates and times. Once the applicant selects Submit Availability, the status changes to Pending Interview Scheduling and the team lead will be notified via email. Using their shared workflow link, the team lead will view the applicant's availability and select which option works best for them. If none of the options provided work, they can enter a new date and time after they've communicated with the applicant externally. Once the team lead selects Schedule, the status changes to Pending Interview Feedback and the applicant will receive an email confirmation with their confirmed interview time. The team lead will also receive an email which includes a workflow link to access the form once the interview is complete in order to leave any notes or feedback regarding the interview. They'll also use this link to specify whether or not they'd like to move forward with this volunteer. If they select no, after clicking close, the status changes to volunteer denied. If they select yes, they'll then click update coordinator and the status will change to pending final review. At this point, the volunteer coordinator is also notified. They can then use the workflow link in this email to open the entry, keep track of the background check completion process, and take notes while contacting any references. The update action is also available to save any changes they've made to the form without impacting the workflow in any way. Once the volunteer coordinator has completed this section, they'll select whether or not they'd like to onboard the volunteer. If no, they'll then click close and the status will change to applicant denied while the applicant is notified via email. If yes, after clicking complete, the status changes to applicant approved and both the volunteer and the team lead are notified. The workflow at this point is now complete. With our low-code platform, we make it easy for anyone to build a variety of powerful solutions, regardless of your technical expertise. You can use our entries page to create entry views based on the area of volunteering. You can even assign those entry views to specific team leads using our workflow role permissions feature. Additionally, you can ensure that the proper team lead is notified at the right time by directing the emails using shared workflow links and conditional logic. Any applications that are submitted or saved are automatically stored in the Forms Entries page, so you no longer have to manually enter data. Also, don't forget that you can always add, delete, and change any of the steps in the workflow to further fit your needs. If your volunteer application process starts with a background check instead of an interview, we have created a second version of this template catered to that workflow. 
you can access this template through our template gallery. At the end of the day, the entire form is customizable. It's quick and easy to adapt any section, page, or formatting feature to best suit your needs. If you have any questions about setting up or customizing this template, please visit our user guides to learn more. Our customer support team would also be happy to assist you with any questions.